If you're interested in makeup and also have a brain in your head and are able to uh, think critically and reason and you're more than just you know that typical makeup youtuber that you see and it's just like all right so today we're gonna do another unboxing uh, makeup is fun but it's also not necessary hashtag makeup is not important hashtag conservative makeup youtuber and like black lives matter and then you say okay so how are they like are they being oppressed what is happening and then people just say racism and then you say okay what are you talking about are there specific instances of racism right now they cannot answer it and they're like um systemic racism like okay what are you talking about give me an example maybe i can learn from you and there's never there's never an answer and it drives me batty you know the right to free spree free spreech. What I like to refer to her as Kalama, because I just, I can't, oh, I can't with her. And do I mean to be disrespectful? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> She's a freaking idiot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sweet Jamie Lee, who I am. I'm a conservative makeup YouTuber, and I think, let's get that, let's get that, like, hashtag trending. Hashtag conservative makeup YouTuber. If you are, I've done a whole bunch, like, on Instagram, and, oh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I don't, I usually upload about once a week right now i've been a little busy with work i'm also a cake decorator um but definitely pro america i love this country and i also do makeup and i'm so glad that i'm not the only one now because soon after i started my youtube channel one second <laughs> sorry i could see that one of my lights was showing in my shot well you gotta have lights on your face um so soon after I started my channel and then I decided to tell everybody that I'm conservative and I knew that that would be a very slow growth, <laughs> um, Amanda Ensing, and I've done a few videos involving her, extremely intelligent, extremely beautiful. Um, I highly, highly recommend following her if you're conservative or even like more moderate, but you love this country. Highly, highly recommend her. She has a podcast. I'm just going to be doing makeup while I talk. I just, it's just one of those talky things I just feel like doing. And I hope you guys appreciate it. And hello to my subscribers. And again, I have to apologize because I think I haven't really been on my Instagram in a very long time only to just post if I have a video and then I'm off it. And I think I have a whole bunch of messages waiting for me. So if you're one of those people that have messaged me on Instagram, I apologize. I'm getting to it. I swear. I promise you. I promise you. And all of a sudden, I'll like do like a rapid fire. I'm like, oh my god. And like I'll read all of your content. I'm so sorry. If, if you're one of those people, I apologize. Cake decorator. It's been my time to shine. It's been busy at work. I'm trying to find employees super fun so if you're new to this channel welcome i just i love to do makeup but i don't think I've, another hashtag i've been doing a lot is hashtag makeup is not important it's freaking not and i've always said it do i like to do makeup yes i think it's fun and you know if it makes you feel good do it and like i say i first came to makeup um was after high school because i i had a terrible terrible time in high school and I've always been like overweight plus size if you will I'm not for fat pride I'm for body positivity just to be clear and I'll be doing a video on that um also I will be having a video on un unboxing my summer fab fit fun box when it finally arrives you guys it's July 5th as I'm filming it right now so happy 4th of July I hope you guys had a good one America um but I was sitting at work the other day and I was like, oh, what do I have to do? Um, what am I going to film? Oh my God, this foundation. I just have to stop real fast. Infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal Paris. I'm in the color 201 Classic Ivory because I'm as white as a ghost, but I'm proud of it. Be proud of your whiteness. Be proud of any color you are. But just because you say be proud of being white does not mean you're racist. Why do all the other people get to be proud of who they are except for me? No, you're not going to win me over. Oh my God. Perfection. Okay. So I always thought I had a pink undertone. Definitely not a yellow undertone. I think what I'm learning 
is that I'm not even a pink undertone. I think I fall in the neutral undertone. My whole life is completely different. Oh my god, finish, coverage, texture. This is beautiful. It feels so light on your skin, but that just, I just did a couple of things up close. If you guys could see me up close, you know, you'd see that this is flawless. Does it match? Yeah. You know all the other ones that I do? Oh my god. See like this yellow or like more pinker? This, this is perfect. I love it. And I love it. Um, so yeah. If you love this country, highly, highly recommend you can stay with me. I just like doing makeup. I'm a cake decorator, and I love this country. Pro-Trump? Yes, I am. You can come at me if you don't believe me, but also if you, or if you don't believe me, if you don't agree with me, you don't, you don't have to agree with everything I believe in. That's the glory of being more on the right side of things, is that we don't exclude people. The left, the inclusive left, excludes people. It's the weirdest thing. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm in, like, the twilight zone with all this stuff. Am I recording? Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, but did you ever notice that? The left is always the ones that are, like, freaking out about inclusivity. But they're the ones that are, like, especially in reference to Amanda Ensing. And I watched her for years, and... And she had, you know, insanely popular, as she should be. She's gorgeous, talented, wonderful personality. She's very good on camera. It took me a little bit to be bit to get to get comfortable in front of a camera and talking to you guys because it was weird because I'm sitting alone in my ginormous room in my little makeup studio area that I have. Well, it's not little. I have a gigantic room, and I love it. Um, but it took me a little while because I was just like, I'm just sitting here talking to a camera. But that's not true. I'm not talking to a camera. Oh, and if you're wondering what that background noise is, I'm listening to Amanda Ensing's podcast. She has a podcast. Highly recommend it. She's just oh, well-versed. She has crazy good opinions. I've, I've always noticed when I used to watch her, she's just very, you know, she lived in L.A. for a while. And then a few things she would say randomly, I got this weird feeling because usually I'm just used to listening to leftist makeup YouTubers and it's just, you know, once in a while they would put in their opinion on stuff and I'd be like, uh, okay, she's another one, but I'm going to keep watching her because I do like her makeup. I don't want to be that judgy. Just, you know, practice what you preach. Like, I don't care if you guys have a different opinion, like, you can still watch me. Like, we'll have a discussion. But the left, I've noticed, wants to shut down people that have different opinions. Obviously, the whole, like, you know, the Steven Crowder thing, and he's suing, what is it, Google? Who the hell is he suing? Oh, I hope he's doing well. Any of you guys who follow Steven Crowder, he's having his whole surgery, I think he did a few days ago. I haven't seen any new updates, and I'm hoping he's doing all right, so prayers to Steven Crowder. Hope you're doing well, and I can't wait until I hear any bit of news about you. I'm praying for a speedy recovery, as pain-free as possible, please. Um, he's another really good voice out there. Highly recommend watching Steven Crowder. Um, Amanda Ensing, and I've done it before, so as soon as she kind of came out as conservative, like obviously from what I could tell, she lost a lot of viewers. You know, rightfully so, because as conservatives, we're used to that, right? <laughs> and, but you can tell, oh my goodness, it's, she's so refreshing and she's not fake about it, because obviously she wouldn't have taken that chance oh, if it was all fake. And she's going in hard in her podcast. It's, it's wonderful. So if you want to feel enlightened, she's positive, but being a realist and she'll, you know, say it like it is, highly, highly recommend her. She's, um true patriot and I know recently I believe she's been on Candace Owens' show awesome so I think she's done a few things at the blaze um good for her though and I love seeing you know her grow in terms of this I can still see from what I can tell I think her viewership in general on her makeup channel is a little bit down because I'm sure she lost a whole bunch of people that just couldn't handle the truth but, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure she would have liked you to stay, but she's also not going to beg, and she's not going to pander. 
just like I won't. Like, this has been kind of a slow growth thing. I've been on YouTube for two years, and I'm still finding, like, you know, it's hard to upload one of the major secrets to being successful on YouTube. And I knew this going in, is that you have to constantly upload. You have to push out that content. And do I have time? No, because I have a job. I'm a cake decorator. It's kind of hard. I have MS, multiple sclerosis extremely limits what I can do in a day boy howdy and I've have I'll have a few videos on that I'm kind of just doing a makeup look inspired by Amanda I'm seeing right now she always does this very classic look and I like it I mean it's neutral so it's a little almost not out of my comfort zone but it's just out of you know it's just different for me as you guys can tell I'm the girl that likes to put color in her world because I love color but she always does beautiful looks she's very very talented Amanda Ensing and I was like I did a video like defending her and like good discussion around her deciding to come out as conservative and um she got so much hate and then I did a video on it and then I got like so many questions from people and they're like well if Amanda was blah 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 well, what do you think and I answered every single one of my comments that I got the good thing about that video was that I got so many I got a lot of engagement and so I did a separate video answering everyone's every single comments um, concerns and questions about Amanda Ensing the election election fraud um, and then not one of them, and I named them by name, and I let them know that I was going to be answering them, you know, in my comments so they could see, and then they could still engage with me if they wanted to. Not one. You answer people with, you know, facts and logic, they go bye-bye, because they're like, oh, and then they just get mad and they leave. Um, but I think as conservatives, I'm not extremely, I'm not religious, very spiritual though. I believe in God. He is a wonderful, wonderful God. And I think good things are coming. And I know in Amanda Ensing's uh, latest video, she's been saying kind of the same thing. And I've been feeling this like force coming like within the world. And it's hard to explain. I might sound like a nut job. But so be it. It's just something, something is coming. And does anybody out there understand what I mean by this? Something is coming. There's, I think we've been tested as a whole and not just saying conservatives. We've all been tested. And I think, I think we're going to be seeing some things and the world is going to work itself out a little bit because there's been what I can feel is this whole bunch of just heaviness and people are tired and people are tired of the hate and just like you interact with people or at least I do on a daily basis being in con um, customer service and you just don't know I'm not understanding where some people are coming from and I think everyone's suspicious like what do you believe are you gonna like cancel culture me <laughs> cancel culture me and, ooh, man, Ensing just said it's time to wake up. Preach it, sister. Um, but I think she's, um, in a way, she's doing God's work, boy. How? To, ooh, the frick happened over there? You guys, my two eyes, the way they set, are completely different. I don't know if you can tell. Do head on. But like one droops in a different way than the other one. And I am so tired of caring. Well, I never really cared, but it is a frustration. So I can't always do both my eyes the same exact way. And I don't care. Makeup is not important. Repeat it with me, folks. Makeup is not important. What is important? Your family. Your If you have children, your children. Well, children are your family. But you know what I mean? Me having no children. So by family, I mean like my mother and my father and my brothers. That's family. So if you have children, that applies, obviously. Your children matters. Your pets matter. Your grandparents matter. Making making a difference in someone's life, however small that may be, matters. All these other things, like, you know, 
the LGBTQ, the gay thing, just all of these things that are supposedly all these crazy issues now. I, I don't buy it. It's kind of like a mask. They're covering for something. And I don't appreciate it. What? You know what? Do I want more? Yes. Amanda. So yeah, there's just there's just so many more important things in this world. And for me, and maybe I'm blessed enough to have the perspective that I do because I've I do have a very different perspective on life and in a way I'm very grateful for my diagnosis of MS and no that sounds weird because it's kind of irritating a lot of the times but I'm grateful in the way that it's given me that perspective like every day and not to sound all like oh poor me and I don't like to say it like this but every day is a struggle am I struggling right now to hold on to this because I have spasticity and numbness in my hand yes and it hurts and it's tiring so as soon as that's why I try to like blow through these videos as fast as I can because I know I have a very limited time fatigue is my main issue and I can't and everything hurts and my eyesight is blurry like my left eye I have optic neuritis in it so whenever I close this eye I can't see a whole lot right here but this one I can see better so yeah am I struggling to do this yes but in terms of like I because of that I am so grateful because I've learned what's really important like I may have a what you would call a smaller life I don't have friends really or any that I see a whole lot I don't have a boyfriend the time and energy it takes to be in a relationship is exhausting to me and I don't know how I'll ever accomplish that unless somebody you know can have the patience with me and the ability to help me out when I need it it's just it's it's a whole thing but you know of all the things that are important marching around and saying like black lives matter and then you say okay so how are they like are they being oppressed what is happening and then people just say racism and then you say okay what are you talking about are there specific instances of racism right now they cannot answer it. and they're like um systemic racism I'm like okay what are you talking about give me an example maybe i can learn from you and there's never there's never an answer and it drives me batty and you realize they're only doing it to create a divide. These people are only peddling the stuff to create a divide. And it drives me nuts. And I can't stand it. And I wish it would stop. But as, you know, being more conservative, I guess we're the ones that can maybe show a different, a different way of looking at things. It's like, are there inequalities in this life? Maybe so. And have I dealt with some of those? Yes. But what good is me marching around and being so negative and hateful and just spewing all this stuff and making stuff up going to do? Do you know what I mean? It's just, instead of being a part of, you know, just being more positive. See, I've noticed there's a clear difference in how the left usually is, typically, and how the right typically is. Um, the right is more positive. We love God. Um, you know, we know that there's something bigger and better and that there is a higher power and all of that. The right is very negative. Everything is just extremely like, oh, this life is bad. This country is bad. The country, the very country that you live in and that affords you the right to have your opinions about how terrible this country is. Other countries, you don't get that right. Try going almost anywhere and trying to voice your opinions good luck with that really Ooh. hey all right that looks kind of good oh oh what did i just do oh that was fail oh did you guys see me the last time i had this major epic eyebrow fail I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. Where is my thing? <sighs> it is so hot in here that I can't even... Ooh, hey, that's pretty. Yeah, Amanda Unsing 
she's a she's a, she's a good egg and I've always appreciated her content she's very very talented entertaining to watch entertaining to listen to but now that she like finally came out as conservative like as soon as I saw that I was like yeah that's right you did but for some reason I could always tell and I'm like I wonder especially living in like Hollywood and where she is I can imagine how difficult that would be for her to actually fully come out as so I don't blame her for you know, keeping that under wraps for a little while, but, um, you know, her time is now, and I'm very, very, very happy for her. Oh, man, you know, all right, so on my list of YouTubers that I'd like to meet, I don't even have a list of YouTubers I'd like to meet. Well, Amanda Ensing would be the top one, her, and Steven Crowder, oh, sorry, I'd love to meet him. What a cool person. Should I, are those eyebrows... A little strange yeah probably I want it to be a little darker but in a way I don't so what am I saying you know what I'm just gonna go back in with this I need some um I need oh nope wait maybe this my little unicorn thing so I noticed in my last video I needed more definition it was hard to see when I was filming but like right here Yes, Amanda. No one can take away your God-given freedom. Your freedom to think the way you want to think, to say what you want to say. 100%, because that's totally gone away. And it's so weird to me. Do you know the amount of people that, like, really, I don't think they understand that this country is extremely unique because we have, you know, the right to free speech. Free speech. The right to free speech. And everyone's like... What do you mean? I'm like, you don't have that, like, God-given right anywhere else, and it's not protected by a constitution. What other country do you know has a constitution that explicit has a constitution, one, and that would say, you know, right to free speech, free speech talk. And, you know, in Canada, there's so many, oh, my God. If I, if I can, I'm going to link some references for you guys it is so hot in here because i can't have my air conditioner on while i'm filming because then you can't hear me it is so hot i can't even so sorry i'm just gonna make a little definition there nice clean look this would be nice if you're going to like an office meeting office meeting you know what i mean at work even like a date yes amanda ensing Yep. And I think, and what's really sad is that, has anybody been, like, paying attention to, like, the border crisis? Like, even Texas is declaring it. It's like, it's a crisis. Please help us. Why? Because the Biden administration first was saying, yeah, come on over. What are you talking about? Like, you're telling everybody to come on over. And then all these illegals are, like, showing up, and now they have a crisis, and they can't, like, they don't have a handle on it, and they don't know what to do. Well, did you not see that coming? I just have to ask that question. And it's weird to me because a lot of people, you know, when you say, you know, if you're more conservative, and they would say, well, where do you line up with XYZ, such as borders? I don't think that we should have open borders, as the left will say, oh, you know, borders are racist. And I know that Amanda Ensing touched on this in one of her podcasts, and I'm so glad. Um, well, one, can you tell me exactly how borders are racist? Does me having, you know, like a house and we have, you know, a lock on our door? Is that racist? Does that mean that I have inherent, like, racist values towards what? Towards who? No. That's to protect what's inside this house. What's inside this house is my family. So you're damn right I'm going to have walls. Walls. There's locks. Why do you lock your car door? Why do you lock... Why do I lock up my business at night? Well do the math and a lot of people say no it's just like a very simplified 
answer. Well, no, inherently it's not. That's that's the problem is that it's so simple that maybe, you know, a lot of people on the left cannot comprehend such a... <laughs> like, some things in life, they don't have to be difficult, people. They can be very simple. Ooh. Yeah, see, this this shade is much better than this shade. This butter bronzer, a little too dark and yellowy for me. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. Can you? This one's more like orangey. This one's very neutral. And I found this one by Googling, like, what is the best um, uh, bronzer shade for light skin? And this one actually came up, and it works very well. It makes me look glowy without looking muddy, or that I was, like, punched in the face. And, um, yeah, so people come through the border, and people are like, we shouldn't have any borders at all. And, um, and I'm glad Amanda Ensing made this point, is that there is no country that exists that don't have some form of borders. No country try to find it because how do you even define what a country is then like what what is a country like we have to be clearly defined somehow and it's very very strange to me oh that's pretty yeah 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 and I'm gonna be using my physician's formula highlight also no I have to do blush first Sigma or a powder in pet name it's like my favorite one it's more of like a peachy kind of look it's um it's really really confusing to me and so many people are like listening to these leftists say that like oh yeah borders are racist and now all of a sudden they're like picketing borders are racist trump is racist and trump supporters are racist by default of course well i can tell you i'm not racist um that's just the thing that people say now so you know i've been called it more times than i've you know oh I do have a story to tell about that. It's going to be great. It just made me think of it because I saw her a few weeks ago. And then it made me <laughs> remember it again. Oh, I can't wait to share this story. It's going to blow your mind. Um, do you see? Is there color? I mean, it's very light, but I've just, I hate tons of color on my face. And I'm not using any other powder on my face. Like this uh, foundation. Crazy. Go oh, I just remembered I forgot something. I was going to do my Magic Lumi light infusing primer before I started my makeup. Whoopsie. And do I want any shinies on my lid? This is just very simplified but awesome look. So no, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of glowing up. And we all know that when Jamie says a little bit, oh, she means a lot. And I'm just going to put some in my inner corner. I'm glad I'm um, right now, so I'm just, I'm like half paying attention to what I'm doing and half listening to her. <laughs> to Amanda right now talking about the whole COVID thing and how the Biden administration said like you'll need these passports to go to like to engage in commerce and to go to sporting events oh hell no I don't understand why why exactly more people aren't a little taken aback by you know such ideas and so many people are like, oh, it's just being a conspiracy theorist and all this stuff. But if you look at history and you're, oh, it feels good. Oh, man, it was hot in here. Whew. Hey, that's beautiful smelling. What did I just use? Setting spray. Watermelon berry blast. Who's this by? Oh, Seattle, London. Ooh, ooh, highly recommend that. I mean, do I believe setting spray does anything? Not really. I mean, so then you could also, oh, wow. Okay, but what it does do, it doesn't do anything like what I think people think. Like, oh, to make your skin look natural. It it definitely helps with applying highlighter, kind of makes it pop, and then it can give your skin slightly a more dewy look. But other than that, it's not like this magic thing that you have to have. Definitely helps highlighter pop. 
And we all know Jamie likes a good highlight. Oh, yes, I do. I like to go in the middle. It's just very healthy looking. And I do have to say this um, physician's formula highlighter, very, very nice. It kind of melts into the skin just like um, my other one by Ben Nye. And I've been trying to find it and I can't find it online anymore. So I'm going to reserve that one, you know, for special, special videos or special times if I ever like, you know, have a hot date. Which, no, I'm not actively dating at the moment. It's kind of hard. I, I have no energy to do it. I have a lot going on. I have other things going on in my life. So, no. Voluntarily single, guys. And I kind of do recommend it if you've never been, you know, single for more, you know. You know those people that just, like, they can't be single? They're just like... No, have to have someone at all times because they're not, like, not okay with themselves. Well, I'm not that girl. Shall not be infringed. Preach it. Yes. She's touching on um, our attack on the Second Amendment. We need the government. No. The Constitution explicitly is talking about the right to a well-maintained um, militia, meaning the people. If people don't understand what that term means. And exactly for when government becomes too corrupt, you need, you need, you need it. I don't understand how anybody can read all of this stuff and know about this, <clears throat> you know, like understand, quote unquote, understand the Constitution, and then be for like gun control and just like, no, oh, the Second Amendment's overrated. Do you really not understand why the Founding father, Fathers, the Founding Fathers, the Founding Fathers put that in there? It is so, it's more relevant now than like I can think of in like recent history, especially because there's an active attack on it now, now that you have in Joe Barton. And what I like to refer to her as Kalama, because I just, I can't, oh, I can't with her. And do I mean to be disrespectful? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> She's a freaking idiot. Uh, do I want to do fake lashes? So I had planned to do fake lashes with this. And I was going to do a wing. But this is just really... You know what's bizarre? I just realized I have a video from like a year or so ago where I did kind of the same makeup look and I just realized... I'm wearing the same shirt, I think. Whoa. Whoa, that's really strange. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Biden administration. I want to hold gun manufacturers liable if someone purchases a gun from them and then uses it, you know, to attack someone else. Well, Jesus Christ, and that just opens up the floodgates for anybody becoming liable. Like, <sighs> well, hopefully we have the right people that are more, you know, Republican, conservative people <sighs> that can hopefully stop this, and I hope they're doing their jobs. And that's why I do encourage you to get more involved in local elections, you know, smaller government. Don't just, you know, vote for a presidential election every four years. It's not going to do anything. It's actually more important that you become involved all the other times. And you need to vote out people that are not working for you. These people work for you. And that's something I didn't even fully understand or appreciate 
back before I was really like paying attention to the whole political thing. These people work for us, we the people. So you don't like something, something's going wrong, you need to do something. Oh God, it all clumped. Oh dear. Don't you hate that? When everything's going good and you want to put on one more layer and then it's just like, mm -mm mm-mm-mm. No, oh no you didn't. Yep, well that's what my lashes just told me. So why am I putting on more? Because I have to even out this one with this one, this catastrophe that just happened. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Oh Lord, no. Stop. I have like spider legs again. Exactly. If we don't have the firearms and the ability to defend ourselves, who out there is going to have them? Oh, think about that. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for lips. I think I think I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia color. Let's see. Should I try this Lolita color too? Exactly. Freaking Hollywood telling us that we don't need guns as they're being protected all the time by armed people. Riddle me that one, Batman. Ooh. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that in my little talk. Do you guys like that look? It's just very simple. This is really easy to do if you're new to makeup. This is not a hard look to do. It's very classic. Um, kind of Amanda Ensign inspired as I'm listening to her on my TV right now. You can probably hear her in the background. Um, and talking about her, I think she is a true patriot. If you're interested in makeup and also have a brain in your head, and are able to uh, think critically and reason and you're more than just you know that typical makeup youtuber that you see and it's just like all right so today we're gonna do another unboxing and like oh, reviews and like it's not about like them doing makeup tutorials anymore and they kind of like devolved evolved what is the word I just wanted to say you guys know what I mean um just the ones that aren't relatable anymore, because I don't know, I've been watching YouTube for quite a while, and I've seen, like, the beauty thing evolve into this, evolve, not divolve, why did I say that? Into this weird, like, unrelatable, ooh, you know, kind of cringy. It's like, all right, well, maybe if you live in L.A. and you're, like, extremely rich, maybe that's relatable, but I can't relate to you anymore. But, yeah, if you if you just like to do makeup... It's just, this is just something I did because I don't, I'm a cake decorator. I work for like family business. I also have MS. I'm extremely limited in the amount of energy I have. And I have a lot of other issues involving holding on to things. So I can't do a whole lot. I don't really have a personal life. There's a whole bunch of things. And I'll be delving more into that at another point, but I did this because I figured, you know, this is something I can do from the comfort of my own room. I have a huge room, so I have like a makeup studio in it, but it was something I could do without having to like get up and just be like stressed out to do a whole bunch of things and actually have to walk because walking is kind of an issue now. Super fun. Um, so it just kind of made sense. I'm like, could I just do this for fun and just give me something to do? Because most of the time, what am I doing? I'm resting. I always have to be resting or sleeping and just, it's, you know, life with MS. And if anybody out there has MS, especially for a longer period of time, because I've noticed I was a lot more positive when I was first diagnosed. I was like, what's the big deal? I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of wears on you and then you start to see 
exactly what it is. It's kind of, you know how they call it, like the MS monster? It's a monster. It kind of like takes away everything from you slowly. And so to keep up, you know, positivity and just something for me to do, you know, to kind of just help. It just it definitely helps. And being able to talk to you guys and be able to reach people with a message, not just with makeup or MS content, talk about politics and things that matter. Are you guys, you know, more cerebral? Because I am. I'm not just a makeup person. Uh, makeup is fun, but it's also not necessary. Hashtag makeup is not important. Hashtag conservative makeup YouTuber. And so if you guys like that, uh, remember to, you know, support me, leave a like, uh, share this video, that really, really helps. And tell me more of what you guys want to see, what would be maybe entertaining for you, topics that you'd like me to touch on, because I have a lot of opinions, a lot of political opinions. And also remember to follow Amanda Ensing, she's insanely smart, very beautiful, great content. She has a podcast and she talks, um, I think her podcast, I think it's called Liberty Before Lipstick. I love that. If she came up with that herself, kudos. Genius. And I love it. So she would, she would probably be part of the hashtag conservative makeup YouTuber movement too that I've been trying to get going. So every video I do, I always hashtag it with that. And so if you guys want to be a part of that, then just keep watching me tell me I'll cover more things I usually upload about once a week if I have some time off and I'm feeling a little bit better I will do more than once a week but I can't promise anything I'm sorry but once a week definitely you can count on me for that and if you guys would like to see cake decorating videos I've been thinking about doing that more so hopefully the whole plus size thing because I am plus size I don't think I want to delve too much into that because one I don't care like yes that is me I am but also I don't want to like give the whole movement any more attention so it's like stop it already all right you're plus size good and there's a thin person over there there's a medium person over there there's a bigger person I don't care nobody's judging yes was I bullied yes I have that in my past but it's not the defining factor factor exactly it shaped me who I am so in a weird way and I've said it before I'm kind of grateful for it but I think all this weird attention and like you can't judge me and I'm gonna it's just the fat acceptance the fat fat pride thing not for it hundred percent feel good in your body and who you are like walk out of the house feeling good about yourself which is why I got into makeup because I realized once I started doing makeup people were like engaging with me and they're like wow you're really talented and that made me feel good so I just I'm like oh okay I mean I was like a makeup girl and then I realized how much it really doesn't matter like your weight does not define you or it shouldn't and if it does well that's kind of sad that's just my opinion um so if you'd like more of this remember to subscribe and like and you find me on Instagram and YouTube right now Maybe more things in the future. I don't know if I'll get into this whole TikTok thing. I'm not sure. But until next time, remember to be kind. Be kind. Put some color in your world. There's not a whole lot right now. But that's okay. Next time there will be. <laughs> and stay humble. Bye, guys. my phone hey guys <laughs> thank you for watching hold on I have to take my little selfie pictures oh oh wait I need this thing I have one of these things to make it like extra glowy as if I need more glow look how fun it is hold on hold on America um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, turn off this thing. Uh, it is so hot in here. I can't even explain. Why do I keep doing this? 
That's the one good thing about winter filming. It's <laughs> the... Well, okay, then there is, like, I have to have my heat on because then it gets, like, crazy hot. Oh, my God. I can't wait to show you guys my vanity setup. It's so fun. Oh, I love it. This makes me, like, extremely happy. You know? I may not have a whole lot of things and stuff. You know, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. I'm happy. I have a good family. I have a good job where I'm able, you know, to do what I can and then stop when I have to. Very, very blessed. And I'm I'm very happy for that. What are you guys thankful for out there? Hold on. What's that? I always clean up as I um finish. I just think that's good practice. I don't know. Did I use baby cream? Did I use that today? Anti-redness? Well, maybe really, really relevant. Like, I'm sweating. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm, like, legit drenched right now. I'm actually not a huge sweater, actually. I'm not a huge sweater. No, like, how do I describe this? I don't always deal with, like, you know how so many people are like, oh, my God, you, like, sweat, like you know, stain all your shirts and all that. I'm not actually that person. I don't sweat a whole lot under here. Usually just like right here. That's all. And like my, my face will turn bright red. You know, that's a thing. Wow, this is really, really pretty makeup. And the plus side is that it looks good on there, like what you guys are seeing. Ah, it could you not? And in my mirror, yeah, that foundation is fantastic. Everything is fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah, Amanda Ensing. Yeah. Highly, highly recommend watching her. I hope you guys do. I feel so bad that she lost so many followers. A little, ugh. But in a way, like, I'm sure she's like, you know what? I'm better for it. Because she has a thick skin, you can tell. So that, I really, really, um, I can, like, relate to her. Because I do too, because of things and stuff in my life. And she's really cool. Seems like a really, really, really nice person. Fighting the good fight. So even though I only have 200 something followers, that's probably why it's slow growing. <laughs> I have to like, find my following. I have to, cause conservative, they're kind of hard to find at first. They're there, but I have to like weed through everything else to kind of like market towards them. Hashtag conservative makeup YouTuber. Yeah, do I want gloss? This gloss, the cap broke. The ColourPop one, it's really sad. Oh wow, that's glossy. Oh, that's pretty. Wait, let me take a picture. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a good one. And I need to spray my face with more spray. I need to turn on my air conditioner. Oh. What is your website? I don't know. Have a good one.